Well, I'm the Antichrist. You might notice that there are certain world empires that are not mentioned. Children of Israel would be captivity to them. Babylon is described in his image as the head of gold. Middle Persia, silver, Greece, brass, and Rome. He does not get all the detail to the first three. The emphasis is on verse on the fourth kingdom. And that's in verse number forty-one. Forty. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron. For as much as iron breaketh in pieces, and subdueth all these, all things, and as iron that breaketh all these, shall it break in pieces, and bruise. And where is our sauce, the feet, and toes, part of potter's clay, and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided. But there shall be in it of the strength of the iron, for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And where else thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. This is the first great clue that this is an alien kingdom. If they're a regular earthly kingdom of men, <coughs> my clay, Adam was taken from the dust of the earth, from the clay of the earth. The clay represents humanity. Or, it says here, the seed of men. Where is our sauce iron mixed with miry clay? They shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. So again, in this iron kingdom, Rome, the base of this kingdom is alien. A lot of them back then they were probably surprised to know that. But they should not cleave one to another. The alien 
and the human, even as iron, is not mixed with clay. In the days of these kings, in the days of the ten toes, I said before, of his image, the head of gold, chest and arms, silver, the thighs, brass, the legs, iron, the emphasis on the feet. What does that tell you as far as time is concerned? All this has been fulfilled. Time lines are here. And before these ten toes take an active role in the world, the rapture takes place. That's a real clear graphically how close the coming of the Lord is. Because it says here in verse 44, in the days of these kings, so the God of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left, left to other people. It will never be conquered by other people. By the races. Remember that scripture in Isaiah where God said, Yea, this shall not take root in the earth. So about the other people up here. But this condition will break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. The kingdom I've got referred to in teaching on this. Air of truth. The stone kingdom. So this prophecy says that thou sawest, verse 34, thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hands. Meaning this stone kingdom had nothing to do with the hands of men, Billy. It was without hands. An invisible hand comes cut out this kingdom. The hand of God, which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay, and break them to pieces. Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broken in pieces together. It became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors, and the wind carried them away, that no place was found for them, and the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. The bottom line for the earth is going to be full of the kingdom of God. Now you never can measure. He had this dream, and when he interpreted the dream, he says in verse 37, Thou king, are the king of kings, for the God of heaven hath given thee a kingdom, power, and strength, and glory. And wheresoever the children of men dwell, the beasts of the field, and the fowls of the heaven, hath given into thy hand, and hath made thee ruler over them all, thou art this head of gold. That would be real good if the head of gold continued. But it doesn't. He said, other kingdom will come along. This one, he's going to conquer you. The other kingdom's going to get, get, get a pickup on that. Then he said, another kingdom will come along. He's going to conquer all of them. The logical question to ask at that point is, how can I get to that kingdom? Right? Just yeah. realize that what I'm in, as powerful as I may seem, I'm in a temporary situation is going to be overthrown. Mm -hmm. That means to take away all the glory of what he just said about me being the head of gold and the king of kings because I'm coming down. For them to prophesy this as God gave it to him took a lot of courage. He said, you're the man right now, but you're going to be forever. 
a stronger man is coming along. He's going to take out all your earthly kingdoms. My question at that point was that, how can I get on his side? Being the head of gold is nice, but it's temporary. Well, let's see how you, how you took it. Chapter 3. Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an image of gold. There you go. He just told me, I'm coming to an end. So what does he do? He keeps praising himself and makes an image of gold. More for God to destroy that wrong. Whose height was three score. He was understand something. This is some Bible here. Back to chapter 3, chapter 2, 46. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face and worshipped Daniel and commanded that they should offer an oblation and sweet odors or doors unto him. The king answered unto Daniel and said, Of a truth it is that your God is a God of gods. How do you make that testimony that turn around a good idol to you? God of gods and a Lord of kings and a revealer of secrets seeing that could reveal this secret. I think I worship that God. Instead he promotes himself. Chapter 3. I never can have made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits. Six maximized times ten. And the breadth thereof six cubits. Actually, I don't know. Satan, his kingdom, and the kingdom of men is stamped at number six. Still is. I guess one of the most manly things you can drink these days in our world is beer. And beer has celebrated the six pack for all time. One out of seven pack. I don't have 12 and 18 and kegs and all that. But the beginning of multiple packs was a six pack. Nobody goes to the store, go to the store ask for six bottles of beer. You say, give me a six pack, right? Those of you who are familiar with this thing. <laughs> It's a multiple of six. Six, 12, 18, case, 24. Number stamped on hand, whether he likes it or not. He bears number six. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, sent to gather together the princes, the governors, and the captains, the judges, some else. In chapter two there. Overlook is that Nebuchadnezzar, when he couldn't get the answer he was looking for, he decided to kill all the wise men and the soothsayer. The whole profession, I mean, his logic was, You can't help me when I need you, I don't need you. He's smarter than most people who worship a god or hear a preacher who isn't speaking from God. What good is he? What good would it do to come to church and hear God sometimes and hear me sometimes and not sure which one is which? Doesn't make sense. If it was not God all the time, why bother? I wouldn't go. If I thought God was speaking to me, I'm going to tell you right now, I wouldn't talk to you. Because some of you might have better ideas than I do. A better message. Right? We'll just take church preaching. 
come here today, listen to hear somebody else, and show of hands who got a message. Okay. How long was your deal with that? This is a confusing church. I don't know what who to believe. I took Dolores talks. I don't hear every Sunday. The rest, and she says, I don't give them the truth at all. If God's speaking, kill the rest of them. No need it. I can't stand people who, who hear the truth of God's word. The lady came with the burial plot information. You come and hear a great message about Good Friday and the resurrection of three days and three nights. If they leave, they go back to your church. And it's okay. I met more folks who came through here, heard God's word, hear contradict what their preacher's saying every week, and go back. They gotta be destroyed. And they will be. I think I have a big dedication. Call them princes, the governors, the captains, the judges, the prisoners, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king set up. He praised and worshiped God, mind you, but he also promoted himself. Called in scripture, okay to believe you're going to believe as long as God is in the mix. He doesn't accept that. For the other to testify about God and then put an image to himself says that he doesn't believe in God. Just that simple. God does not do partnerships. He does not do lukewarm. That's the next church. They talk about Jesus. They testify about Jesus. They say they want the Lord to come. But at the same time, they're involved in the world. They want him to come, but not today. Don't hear him coming, but keep it someday. That's why today's church hates dates. Because dates are definitive. They're absolute. And the world wants a religious option. To have God when I need him, and not have God when I don't. When it's convenient to promote me and my ways and my ideas, I'll take that. And if it's convenient, I'll worship God and say he's the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. I thank you, Jesus, when the Lord comes, he'll, he'll just take me because I gave him that acknowledgement. God takes the whole idea, put them all together, because of idolatry. When we are in John, first go around years ago, the last verse, of the book of 1 John. To little children, what? You keep yourself from idols. Keep Then in Colossians it says, idolatry, which is covetousness. I want God, I don't have the option of having I, me, and mine. That's why today's nominal church does not take. Sunday meeting like y'all do. It's serious. Don't give God, God his day. A little bit of his due. But this Sunday, it's all about me. 
This Sunday, I'm going to go to the beach and just kick back. Go to God all week. I'll worship God next Sunday. Part-time Christians giving God part-time service. And they feel like God's going to accept them as being his when they're shown clearly that they're idolaters. That's why Jesus said that except you put him above your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your husband, your wife, and your own life also, he said, you cannot be my disciple. He's not accepting that. He doesn't want a little bit of praise and a little bit of worship and a little bit of offering a little bit of time and a little bit of prayer. He wants all or nothing because he deserves all. You're going to sound like Isaac, like, like Nebuchadnezzar said, you're the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, and don't King like you, and they're trying to build an image to yourself. If he's back there, they tell him, Nebuchadnezzar, I don't want you. Take back your testimony. Because you don't mean it. You still got you in the mix. This mess is punching hard rain. Yeah. Everybody get up to smelling sauce. Because <laughs> you get knocked out from there. <laughs> then the princes, the governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces were gathered together to the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up, and they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar stood up. Then the herald cried aloud, To you it is commanded, O people nations and languages. That at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sackbut, the psaltery, dulcimer, come on. Six. Six instruments. When you hear this kind of instruments being played, and all kinds of music, Music has been a tool of Satan's hands from day one. I've been telling you guys that for some time. We play music of the world and have no idea what it's really doing. The fact that it makes you feel good should tell you long all by itself is damaging. Period. When you're talking about music in the hands of a deceiver. Satan brought music onto, onto the earth. It's visible. When they met in Stuttgart, Germany, back in the 1800s, to set about a uniform code of music for different tones, commonly called the scale. All these notes, when they vibrate, are multiples of 11. Each one of them. Not only that, between each note, the space, the vibrations are multiples of 11. What does that tell you? The music on the earth has been cut off. It's cut short. Already, when you buy a compact disc, you're buying a line. It's altered music. What does that altered music do to you? What's well, my big thing? Well, it's just a song. But then it is. Because Satan incorporated with the dedication to the image. You might call it, I call it, the beast. Watch the movie. There are parts of the movie where they just play music. You know something's going to happen. Something bad. There's a play very clearly in the movie Jobs. Somebody's about to get eaten. 
And what's the old, the old fashion, back in the day, horror movies? There was a lot of blood and gore and all kind of stuff, so I had to change saw and everything like Freddy Krueger. They just play music. You're too scared to stay in your chair and watch, you're too scared to go to bed. <laughs> or just the music. This movie, an old movie, before they made a new one, called House on Holland Hill, with Vincent Price. That movie scares when the music just comes on. You know? The music. That's the move. Without it, movies wouldn't be too much. The music in the movie, it's about to give awards for the music part, what do you call it? Yeah. Soundtrack. They give awards for that, awards for that. Because the vital part is as important as the acting. It strengthens strength the acting. We're gonna learn pretty soon the music of this world is damaging to you. When you're part of body, you don't, you don't know how. I like Pepsi Cola. There was someone I like to slam a dude. Cause it feel good when you drink. Right? I had a dude last Sunday, a couple weeks ago. Nice ice and cold one. I opened up the car and took a swallow. And so that's killing you. <laughs> I kind of messed that up. So I went to get a, bath, get a bottle of water. Water, that's for when you're thirsty. <laughs> I'm thirsty, but I want to feel good also. <laughs> Why don't cut it? Most things in this world that make us feel good are not good for us. Huh? That's right. I like ice cream. I can have it for breakfast. But it's not good for me. So I get a teaspoon now. Instead the whole bowl. Right there. All kind of music. Mix music. Let me update it for you. Synthetic music. Synth synthesizer. He can be a one man band today. Right? You know, you can key in the rhythm, the beat. What kind of stuff you want? Those aren't real flutes. They're synthetic flutes. They're not real pianos. Striking the key and causing the string to vibrate. It's synthetic music. With a synth synthesizer, you can be, like I said, a one man band and make all kinds of music. But it's all artificial. It's not real. It's like eating microwave food. I watched Uncle Ben's Rice commercial the other day. They said, dinner from, from the package to the microwave to your plate in 90 seconds. The only thing I'm telling you is that when it's going through the microwave process, it's no longer food. It's chemical process that's been told to change. You all got microwaves, get rid of them. That's why you're stronger. Because what you're eating from a microwave is no longer food. And so it goes to your mouth, and your brain begins to process it. The brain has no idea what to do with it. For the brain is an invasion in your body. It's a warfare taking place. And so to cope with this strange return going into it, the brain alters things and starts the war and creates different kind of cells to fight this invasion, and that's how you get cancer. You may as well get some grass outside, or some tree bark, or just take your clothes, cut them up, boil them, put some salt and pepper on them, season them, and eat them. That's what it does. They, they, 
they tested it. They took two plants. One plant was water with regular city tap water for 10 days, or a month, I think it was. The other plant, they water with microwave water. In 30 days, the microwave water plant was dead. The couple plant was going to do to you. Mm. Now, that part is free, okay? That's not part of the message at all. <laughs> it's free. Hopefully, it'll make you go home today and cook other bench rice for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> First time I came across microwaves, and you can cook a chicken in 10 minutes. I said, something wrong with this. It's not right. When you hear this music, fall down and worship the golden image that never turns the king is set up. And to hear Satan's music, music of this world, you're falling down. And your worship. That's why the New Testament gives you admiration, gives you advice. It says, sing spiritual songs to yourself, making melody to the Lord in your heart, saying hymns to the Lord. We ought to be on the hymn diet, music wise. So that doesn't feel as good. That was much better for you, though. Even the music of church today has gone well for beating track. Right. They sing songs about all how I love him and what he's done for me. How I praise him and never in the entire song identify who him is. A song I can sing to Jesus or Antichrist. There's no identity there. They call it church music. If church music does not include the name of the guy you're singing about, it's Satan's music with a church overlay. That's all it is. I expect this part of the message. And this will follow not down and worship it to the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. Interesting. Satan tells you it's okay to come to God's house and not sing if you don't feel like it. I'm going through some things right now. Well, you're going through things facing the church. Sit in God's praise service with you're going through things face. Won't clap. Won't open a songbook. Won't give God his due. I mean, you're going through some things, but you're still breathing. Suppose he retaliated. So come and catch your breath for a while. You better hope it's not too long that your brain damage that turn back on again. Suppose he did that. I'm taking a few heartbeats. When the sun shines this week, it's not going to come on you. I mean, a week without sunshine on your face cannot be good. You have the sunshine too long, you get depressed. You know? People live in the dark, they're depressed. Jesus talks about it, about the, about the eye being full of light. And how, how much healthy that body is when it's full of light. And, this, and the other eye, the evil eye, being full of darkness, and how great that darkness is, that it makes the whole body sick. What if you did that? Sick is located to that. Sorry, right, you're going through some things and this stuff didn't happen. Let everybody know how you feel. <laughs> it's I, me, and mine. It's still consciousness. That's the fucking to them. You don't understand. <laughs> I'm going to change on my job. Well, you're not at work right now. You got a job to go to change it on. Thank God for that. There are folks who love to be off to change that work. <laughs> There's not work. They have no work. The Bible says, introduce a course with, with singing. 
into his gates with thanksgiving. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all your lands. Let everything have breath. Praise the Lord. With what? Everything in you. Every time you come to church, there's no off day. None. We still need a song service leader. You only have song service leaders because folks don't sing. Rose up here, give us okay, page two, so on, so on, four, and then sit back down. Everybody sing it as if she was up here. Or just put something on her place. She can't afford it off, off singing Wednesday or Sunday. She can't possibly feel as good as she sings every week. I know in some cases, some things she's been going through, but I'm surprised she shows up. And so if it saints the Lord, just, everything is just fine. God expects that from every one of us. Amen. Every time. And Satan, the God of this world, makes it like it's okay to do that. But in his world, if you don't bow down and music play, you're going to be thrown to a furnace. <laughs> you, think, you think they didn't bow down? You think that they made sure the king saw them as they looked the king and, and put, 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 put the robot on them? Nobody stood up in his service when the music played. Nobody acted like it wasn't happening. Everybody, like it or not, they praised and worshiped the image he set up. We got the, we got the image of images, and we have to be prompted and coaxed and prodded into praising him. What's wrong with that picture? It's just one song. <laughs> I'll take a good whiff. Because it's in all of us. Therefore, at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sackbut, you know, one instrument's one, one, one missing. Trumpet. 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 You know that God has things so rigged that Satan can't use the trumpet. Mm -hmm. He's damn math number six and tells Satan, use your six instruments, but you can't blow a trumpet. That's mine. Mm -hmm. I'm the only trumpet blowing the world. Okay. That's incredible. Yes. It's interesting that when the priest went around Jericho to capture that city, so they walked around there seven times, and seven priests walked around with seven trumpets, the rest of them being used. The trumpet is from heaven. It's God's divine instrument. Satan developed instruments on the earth to make the sounds for him that he couldn't make as a spear. You talk about Satan, with Ezekiel, you talk about his tablets and his pipes. He was a music angel. He brought to the earth, but he couldn't express it. So he had men give him ideas of how to make an instrument to produce a certain sound. There's hundreds of instruments. And of the hundreds of instruments, even with the synthesizer, they can begin to make the sound Satan made in heaven. Imagine that. He sells the world on, on this music, and he hates it. Because he's been there. He knows what real music is like. He does not like this cutoff version. He hates hearing it, but he can use it against the world and against humanity, so he does. <coughs> well, from that time, certain Chaldeans came here and accused the Jews. They spake and said to the king, There is no king there forever. Thou, o king, has made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, Sackbut, Psaltery, and Dossmer, and all kinds of music, so fall down and worship their golden image. And so fall not down and worship, worship it, that he should be cast to the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, these men, O king, have not regarded thee, 
They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Offer time.